Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and we're back in the open seas. Alright, let's go back into it. Uh, remember, I'm doing these daily Pokemon Nuzlocke, so it's really helpful if you leave a like, and I forgot that what the desktop audio was. There we go. Back to regular speed now. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do these daily, so please leave a like if you end up liking these. It really helps out a lot. It helps out the channel, especially because, uh... YouTube doesn't like it when you try and do different things. So always support something different if you end up liking it. Of course, uh, if you like it and stuff like that. Anyway. Man, you only have four confusions left, Nightmare. I'm going to have to switch to Jolene pretty soon. We should be pretty close to the island, though. I think. I don't really remember this part of the game that well. I remember being in water a whole bunch. That's about it. I already caught you. I'm not gonna catch you again. Uh, damn it, really? Are you... Let's see if I can hypnosis. Oh, don't supersonic me, because supersonic is like the one way to actually get me killed. I can't believe that um, Tentacruel and Tentacruel both live out in the ocean and have zero water moves. It's kind of amazing. That they are a water type Pokemon that does not know any. Oh, you're such a son of a bitch. That don't know any water moves at all. It's kind of confusing, actually. I'll constrict you later, son. You better not. Fisto, please don't be confused and just kill this man in one hit. Thank you. Pop pop. Oh, tiny pop pop. Speaking of tiny top pop pop, I need to. Netflix just recently got. Oh, come on, it wasn't enough to kill. It needed to be a six to kill. Netflix recently got a uh, community, and uh, probably gonna rewatch it, especially with how little I'm, I'm running out of stuff to watch. Honestly, it's not a lot out there right now. Are oh, you still confused? There we go. Magnifa. Wow, really? You little tiny pop pops. What's up with Fisto? Are you feeling okay? Maybe it's because I haven't been, uh, I haven't started my rewatching community. Maybe that's why he's like that. Man, he was such a good show. Except for maybe season four. But, you know, circumstances. Uh-huh. That's not how it works in a Pokemon battle, ma'am. I'm not really tired. All I'm doing is... Hello! Never mind, whatever I was about to say. You're right, girl. I will take care of myself and go to the Shallow End. Would you like to come with me? Harden. That means I'm not hearing no. She's getting her defenses up, though. <laughs> Poor pretty ladies. All the things they have to deal with. Damn, Jolien. That's pretty strong considering how weak an ass move, uh, how weak a move freaking absorb is. It's not a good move. At all. Uh, I guess at least um, until later on. What if I poisoned you, you stupid starfish? Oh, really? The one time? Mm. Mm -hmm. You're poisoned now. Enjoy that. Get ready to get sucked. Why are you doing it? Stop recovering. Just die. <laughs> Come on. Stupid Patrick Star looking Pokemon. You don't even have eyes, bro, and you have the gall to stand there and, like, get hard at me. Come on. Stop the nonsense. Absorbed. Suck. And he's gone. Again, he's not going to be a real issue for Jolene at all unless he has, um, Starmie. Starmie is the actual issue. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, she can't. Um, oh, no. I mean, Nightmare has a really strong special defense stat. So if I'm right, and they use... Um, really? Okay. I need to remember that. Early Pokemon games. A lot of Pokemon had no good moves until way later on. Like, the only exception is Pikachu, who learns um, Thundershock, which is really good, up until he finally learns Thunderbolt. Bubble Bee. That dealt a lot of damage, actually. 
dealt more than the rabbit's been, that's for sure. Uh, I'm just gonna flash you until you can't hit me anymore with your bubble beam. Because I'm pretty positive I'm gonna do an extra damage with Pound. What? Oh, that's right. Flash doesn't have a 100% hit rate. It has like a... 80-something or something. Why is he not using... I mean, I shouldn't live, look a gift horse in the mouth. If he had actually used Bubble Beam, I would probably have been in very big trouble with that. Um, if that all went through, basically. He doesn't have a psychic move, does he? No, he does not. Can I use Confusion? Will this work on you? You don't have a psychic move to your name, do you? Let me see if this works. Alright, screw it. Going back into Jolene. I think it's proven that this thing does not know a psychic move now. It knows Tackle, Rapid Spin, and Bubble Beam. That seems to be the only moves it has. So I was scared for nothing. Well, I mean, you know, live and learn. Absorb. Maybe it has recover. Maybe it's the last move. And if it does, let me poison it real quick. Mm hmm? They're not using it yet. Critical. Jolene too strong. She just evolved, dude. You're not gonna have a chance against this specimen of femininity. Femininity? Femininity? Feminine this. She's a very lady. She's a lady with two. She's like, if Michelangelo was actually able to have sex with April O'Neil from that one anime TV show. I'm, this is something weird, and I'm not going to say anything weird about TMNT, because I'm sure, as from all I understand, the actual quality of the show is fantastic, and it looks great, and it's animated fantastically. It really weirds me out that um, Michelangelo has a thing for April O'Neil. <laughs> Oh, yes I do. All the energy in the world. You know, I shouldn't yuck any yums. It's not Michelangelo's fault that he fell in love with a human reporter girl. Who wouldn't, honestly? If you were of age, of course. Um, but it is weird to just think about. Especially, like, because... I can't imagine Michelangelo, like, wanting to get any, if that makes sense to you. It's not a very, like, pretty sight as well. He's like a turtle. Got away safely. That tentacle That tentacle was, like, backing off from this conversation that I'm currently having about Michelangelo and um, April O'Neil. Why are there so many of you in the fucking ocean? Leave! Nobody likes you, tentacle. And now you're being a fucking you dumb Jimmy Neutron head. I'm tired of you. Can't escape. All you know is supersonic. Get out of my face. I want to leave. You're not even worth wasting time on. There's the Whirlpool Islands. I really want to hit the next gym, if that's possible. Oh, looks like it is. It's 100% possible. Bitchin. Hello, everyone. It's me, your boy Woke. Gee. Wokey. It's not just Woke. Never mind. I haven't caught anything because all I'm running into is freaking tentacle. Maybe I have to fish. Maybe fishing is the answer. But I need a fishing rod. Maybe if I ask around. Do you have a rod, sir? Uh-huh. You scared me into giving you my prize book one. Oh, shit. Oh, thank God. Um, he has a shuckle, but... I ain't down for another man's shuckle, especially since I have to give it back. Fuck that. Uh-huh. Oh, this is the guy. I got it. I got you, bro. I have secret potion. Potion? Hmm. Who's next? Hello. Can you fly up? Okay. Thank you. I don't have- I don't believe I have a flying type, though. <laughs> no, no one here knows how to fly. Hmm, Chuck. Yeah, he uses fighting Pokemon, which is what I figured. There has to be a fisherman somewhere in here. 
Yeah. I wonder what it could be. Who knows? Here's the funny thing. I never actually played Silver. So when it comes time to look for Lugia, I'll have no idea how to get him. Thank you. Yes. What? Why not Wong? No. <laughs> okay. That was weird. It was very weird. Hmm. I guess I can start fighting. I don't know. Uh, Pokemon should use Rock Smash. Pokemon. I don't have Rock Smash. Mm, it's fine. It's not like Rock Smash is the end all be all move. Could find Pokemon in those rocks, though. Chuck. His roaring fist do the talking. Now, yeah, I guess that's it for today's episode. Thank you for joining me in. Tomorrow, we'll actually go inside the gym and see our boy Nightmare, see if he can get us a, a, a win there. Let's get him up here. This is the only reason you're being trained, Nightmare, is to fight this gym leader. So let's see if it works out. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>